So let's start entering in some real information into Greenkeeper. Um, before we dive right into Greenkeeper, I just want to show you one thing, which is this is the folder where I built my course and how I'm starting. So my C name inside of Unity was Glacier Golf Club underscore GSP. So when I built my course, the course Unity file, the build file, was put inside here. And you can see its name right here matches the name of the folder. And then I also created a splash image, 1920 by 1080 resolution, and I placed that in here as well. So there's my splash image that I created, and I put it inside this folder as well. So this is the only thing in that folder at the moment. And now I open up Greenkeeper, just like I had done before. I showed you, you browse to that Unity file. I open it up, and everything's kind of blank in here. So we're going to start filling this out. Um, so we're in this base information page, the very first page, and I start here. So course name, Glacier Golf Club. Um, this is in, the course I based it on is in Nicholson, Pennsylvania, so that's what I'm going to put in here. Designer is me, Masta Blasta. Altitude, uh, I'm going to switch this to Imperial because I want to work in feet and yards. So I'm going to put 350 because that's the altitude of Nicholson, Pennsylvania. Um, you can just do a Google search if you don't know what that altitude is. Just do a search for Ni altitude of Nicholson, Pennsylvania. Usually it'll just come right up. Splash image. So I need to pick my splash image, which is, remember, I put that in the same directory. So I put my splash image there. I selected that. Course description, data entry. So Select as many keywords as you want for describing your course. For this one, it is a mountain course, and I consider it fantasy, um, more of a hybrid, but you can select as many of these as you want. Um, so, you know, whatever you want, historic, major venue, whatever you want, and then enter a course description. I usually get creative in here, maybe describe, you know, the scenery, the history of the course, but put something in there and Take some time because people read this and they might use this to decide whether they're going to play your course or not. Um, don't know what happened to my altitude down here. I put that back in, 351. Um, maybe when I switch this to Imperial, we got rid of that. I don't know. Uh, terrain default material, put defrop, but this really doesn't impact anything at this point. It's something that's been left over, but just select deep rough, but don't worry about it. Um, it doesn't really override anything at this point. Design, I'm going to keep this as real because it is based on a real course. So I think most of you are doing real courses, not fictional, but select whatever's appropriate. I'm in the USA. And then down here, um, you need to define at least one hole. I'm going to do five. The reason being is because later on, I'm going to show you guys how to do um, T's for par threes, par fours, and par fives. So I at least want to define uh first hole is a par four second hole is a par three i do know that this these both are par fours the fifth hole is a par five and then the indexes um i'm just gonna do one two three four five but obviously you want to put in whatever's appropriate for your course now remember when you do these or don't remember you don't know what is it when you select this it gets taken off the board so i have one two and three picked and now i only have four five and six so to get those back either have to select something else. If you see if I select that, then it comes back, right? Or you can hit reset and it will reset the whole scorecard here. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five. Not really accurate, but for the sake of what we're trying to do here, that is fine. And just to show you, you hit save here. And when that does that, it's gonna save our GKD. It's going to save an image of our scorecard, which doesn't look really good at this point because we don't have any pins or T's really defined yet. We're going to do those next. But now, if I go back into here, my directory from earlier, remember, we only had two things in here. We had our Unity file and we had our splash screen. Now, since I saved, I've got my scorecards. I've got these two GKD files. I got the GKD file here, and I've got this uh, Excel CSV file here, and I have a course details file. So these are all the files that you need for your course to work correctly. Course details and splash are the only ones that aren't going to have this full name in there. And notice that all these names here, Glacier Cub Club, 
Glacier Golf Club underscore GSP matches the name of the folder, the top level folder to. All right, so that is our base information that we have now entered. Um, and just remember, when you hit save, don't like force quit out of here until everything's done. Now it's done, so I could exit now. All right, on to the next video.